Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 49. This video we're going to be taking a look at working with our shift cut feature. Our shift cut is going to be used to cut our spark timing and or fuel and retard our ignition timing when we're making a gear shift happen. If we have a sequential transmission or a dog box H pattern transmission and we want to do clutchless upshifts, we have to be able to have a power interrupt momentarily when we're making that shift happen so we can unload the transmission and we don't damage our transmission parts. We're gonna have a lot to cover in the programming and functionality here for the shift cut. We're gonna be taking a look at a variety of different ways we can implement this and how to go and set up and configure our sensor details in order to make this happen. We're gonna have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our shift cut programming feature within our Max ECU. The shift cut can allow us to retard our spark timing and cut our spark or fuel when we're making a gear shift happen. This is especially important when we're on a sequential or dog box H pattern transmission doing clutchless upshifts or downshifts. We want to make sure that we're unloading the transmission so that the engine's not producing any power and we're reintroducing the power safely as we come back and we after we've made the gear change so we don't abruptly ramp the torque in and damage the, the, the gears of the dogs as we're going in and trying to make that gear shift happen. If we're dealing with an automatic transmission, we generally want to go and retard the spark timing we want to begin unloading the transmission when we're making the gear change happen to ease the stress on the transmission internals. If we're dealing with a synchro style transmission with a clutch switch, we can do full throttle shifts. We want to interrupt the power of the engine when we're going and making the shift happen so it, don't, it doesn't damage the gear and or the synchro. So when we're dealing with the shift cut, the primary means or goals of the shift cut is to reduce the engine's power very, very briefly, enough that we can make the gear change happen without damaging the transmission. So it's either the gear or the dog assembly or the synchro, depending on uh, what kind of transmission we're working with. We're gonna take a look at a couple different examples here and how to set them up in our tutorial. Let's first go into the left side of the screen here. We're gonna go under start and move down here under motorsport. Now under motorsport, we're gonna jump into shift cut. Here's gonna be where we turn on our shift cut feature if we're interested in using it. Now we have a variety of different ways to implement this. So we're gonna to have to go in and wire inputs into our Max in order to make this work. We're gonna take a look at how to do that and the specific examples of working with this. So let's go here to enable shift cut and let's just turn this on. Now we're gonna go into our shift cut mode here and we see that we have a whole bunch of different options. We have time pulse, time pulse with table, time pulse from sequential, time pulse from auto trans control, an input controlled shift cut and clutch switch. Each of these are gonna be unique in the application where we'll be using them on. Let's go here and break down what these mean and I'll show you, go, I'll show you how to go in and set these up based on our input configurations and then actually working with this and I'll just demonstrate it real quick so you can get an idea of what to expect. So you know what to choose for your application that you're dealing with. Let's go here and take a look at our very first example under time pulsed shift cut input. Now in here, this is gonna be assuming that you have an older style, sequential style transmission, where we're gonna have micro switches that are mounted on the before and after of the shifter lever. So if you go and do a forward gear shift and you're moving your shifter lever forward, that's gonna be tripping a micro switch. And if you pull the gear lever towards you to make a downshift, you'll be going in and tripping another micro switch. Either micro switch output will be going in and wired into one singular max ECU input under a digital input and it'll be providing the shift cut input signal in order to trigger the shift cut to happen on that sequential transmission. So this particular time pulsed example will be specific for a sequential transmission with micro switches fitted to the before and after pool on the shifter lever. So let's go in here and take a look at how to set this up. If we go to inputs and we go here to digital inputs, um, I have in this particular example here as we're looking at it, digital input one, we'll go to the function. And the function here, I have set up the micro switches on this particular shifter lever and we go down here, they're gonna be set into shift cut and I've wired either output from my particular micro switches. Um, so there's, there's two inputs. So each micro switch has its own input. Those inputs are going to chassis ground. So the micro switch gets a, a ground input and then the output is what's going in. I've tied both outputs from both micro switches into the input here for digital input one. So that's pretty basic. So any, the micro switch is tripped either in the forward or backwards direction of our shifter lever throw. It'll go and trigger our digital input one. Now we need to go and set up some of these details here. Then the latching conditions, we'll set this to none. We don't wanna latch this at all. We want it to either just simply trigger it, either it's on or it's off. 
under the description, we could label this and give this a custom label. I'll skip that for right now. Um, we don't need to worry about that. The acto level here and pull up resistor. Now in the case of the way I've wired the micro switches, they're gonna be a ground into the micro switch and then a ground out of the micro switch when that circuit gets completed, when we're tripping it either going in the forward or backwards throw direction on our shifter lever. In this case, because they're gonna be a ground trigger input to my digital input one that I've wired this into, we'll be setting these on active low and five volt pull up enable. So we need to have this set up for a ground input to our digital input. If you have a 12 volt, so you've wired 12 volt into your micro switch and 12 volt out of your micro switch, that's your signal out, you'll go and set this to the opposite under rising and then you don't need your pull up resistor enabled. So we're gonna go and set that to the opposite of our configuration here. The input type will be under digital input. We're not using a VR input for this particular micro switch combination that we have here. And we can test out this shift cut if I simply go in here into my digital inputs under my digital input one active. Right now, it's at zero, meaning this. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.